All right, this is video two, looking for the leak source. Engine's running, air conditioning's running. I only have three ounces in there, so you can see it's under negative three and 91 PSI, just enough to show you on video, so now I'm gonna shut it off because negative three is not a good thing, but it's only like 48 degrees, 50 degrees outside right now. There is no heat load. Okay, stabilizing, 44 on both sides. Already used the um, leak detector at both the fittings. Used the bubbles, nothing with bubbles, nothing with a uh, refrigerant leak detector. And I don't even have to get close with this. I have it on the most sensitive cloud sensing. It's, it's a slower reaction, but it's so super sensitive that it would pick it up right away. Now, another thing, ha, huh, look what I found. I didn't have it out of my vehicle. It was in my vehicle, but the problem is, is inside this building, they have airlines that have leaks. Hey. And now my battery's dead. Okay, it was weak, working before, but they have airlines all on the walls and stuff and hoses and there's leaks. And the background noise of the hissing, the ultrasonic sound of airlines, clear across the shop, this can pick up. And it messes me up for looking for leaks around this system, unless it was a big one and I was right on it. But I literally can stand right here and point my ultrasonic leak detector and you can watch the numbers go up and down as I got close to the leak. And I started walking this way and you could watch the number go up as I get towards an air hose leak from roughly 70 feet away. Uh, another one, I'm in another in place that has these LEDs instead of fluorescents. And when I hold my uh, ultrasonic leak detector, because these pick up radio interference too, I showed in another video, when they turned off the fluorescent lights on and off, it would like jump all the way up to six, just by the fluorescent lights. Here too, because your uh, wire for your headphones is like an antenna too. And this has a very, very sensitive off amp uh, amplifier preamp inside of it that has a lot of gain. And so it acts like a TV antenna and it, micro it amplifies any little source. So the switch mode power supplies inside these particular LEDs in here, when I hold this up and I move it around in different directions, like an antenna, you know your AM FM antenna on your, or your old rabbit ears on your um, TV, when you would change the direction of the antenna for your FM, AM or, or TV, you would get a better picture on your TV or a better, stronger racer. Same with this. I'd literally move it around and I could hear the hum of the switch mode transformers inside the LEDs and uh, it actually picks it up on here. You could watch the power meter go off, but unfortunately, battery's dead. Um, so this doesn't find this leak. This doesn't find this leak. Uh, I'm going to say so far. I'm gonna say that the seals on the condenser are not leaking. And um, I just ran it. So now I'm gonna recover the refrigerant. It's only like three ounces, but I'll recover the refrigerant out there, out of here, and repeat the test. And let's see what our third video shows up with. 